So this job here, uh, we're on a 1910 cart, single shoot. What we need is to replace this front tank meter housing and the mid pipes in between. So we or this one particularly has already has the, the stainless S tubes on it. And so we're, we're not having to replace those and we'll reuse those in this case. But um, this is like a really good example of, of why we're replacing these pipes, right? They're so how much corroded they are. And when it's installed, you can't even, you can't see that this is happening, but you can see that this is expanding. The rust is expanding outside of here. Like the other side of it looks just fine. So the reason for that is a lot of these carts have been used for fertilizer and for seed, and that's what they're intended for. But the problem is the fertilizer is very corrosive and it, it really rusts mild steel pretty quickly. On the inside of the tank, we have the, the ladder that comes down to the funnels or to the funnel and it bolts to the funnel that's up in here. And that gets really corroded and I had to cut those out. Uh, in this case, so I could drop this whole meter housing. So we've got the top plate here, the meter housing, and what we call the lower, and it's a single sheet lower. And so we're replacing all of that with stainless, and, uh, and there should be a really good result. This particular one is actually a, it's a hydraulic drive, so I have to detach this hydraulic drive from it and, and hold it back to where I have room to do this, and then I'll bolt that back up to the new stainless meter housing. It's usually air leaks and, and you can start seeing the, the corrosion around, uh, around those metal products, around plate and, and that sort of thing. This, up, this top plate here, start, you can see that the, you know, the paint starts to flake off. And then when you look at it from when it's empty up top, you can look down into the funnel and you can see how much corrosion has happened inside, inside there and inside that funnel. And uh, it's, it's pretty, Pretty soon after you see a lot of that is when you have a lot of air leaks and then causing issues with seed delivery. You're gonna eliminate those air leaks, right? And so as much of the air leaks you can eliminate, the better. And it's, it's gonna help prevent uh, blockage, flow your seed better, and actually get you what you're looking for out to the drill and uh, into the ground. So, it's, uh, that's where it makes the biggest difference, right? And then also um, one big benefit of, of going stainless is these, these handles right here are your half width disconnects. So those half width disconnects are usually always plugged up and also seized up. What happens then is you can't pull your meter roller out with seed in the tank. And also you can't do, um, you can't do some custom things on the drill. If, if you can shut one side off or the other, and, and it gives you some uh, capability of doing front rank, rear rank kind of seating and that kind of thing. And so when we put the new meter housing on, it's gonna be, you know, you're gonna have new half width disconnects and they're gonna be stainless and they won't be all corroded. That's, that's the beauty of the stainless, you would run you would run uh, fertilizer through it and not have to worry about it. Make sure you like and subscribe to keep up on all the fresh content posted weekly, which includes helpful tips and tricks, new products, and various adventures. Also, make sure you check out Ready's website to shop our performance air seeder solutions.